Today is the feast of St. Paul of the Cross, the founder of the Passionist Order. Years ago, when I was a newly ordained priest, I came across a quote from St. Paul of the Cross that I just loved, but unfortunately I didn't write it down and I don't remember where I found it and I haven't been able to retrieve it since. It was some quote to the effect that when the cross meets the lives of real everyday people, it finds its fullest expression. I always love that quote because it highlights and dignifies the daily struggles that we all have that are just part of daily life, but uh, it certainly elevates those struggles to uh, the level of the cross, uh, the journey of the disciple, that in uh, following Jesus every day, that's what we're supposed to do. I wish I could find that quote back, but uh, it's uh, kind of a nice challenge, uh, all the same, to try to recreate it myself and capture again the spirit of it that I really loved back then. I also read this morning that St. Paul of the Cross believed profoundly that the passion of Christ is the greatest expression of the love of God for every person. And in some ways that's saying the same thing, that the passion is revelatory of God's self-sacrificing love, that God's love for us is willing to uh, go to the cross, go to the extreme, willing to die uh, in order to be expressed and find a, a home in our hearts. And I think that is the same thing that's happening in us when we embrace the cross, uh, self-sacrificing love that reflects the love of God and that underlines uh, the heart of God for each uh, human being. It's good to reflect on the cross every day because crosses don't take vacations, do they? Uh, the cross is always a part of our lives and uh, it always helps to name it as such rather than complaining about it or feeling sorry for ourselves uh, and that too. But to be able to say this experience is a redemptive promise for me in this experience of laying down my life, of sacrificing myself, of giving up some comfort uh, or something I love. In the experience of the cross, I actually have the opportunity to draw closer to the depths of God's love for me.